<laughs> I've only talked about, I think, every week since I've gotten it. Uh, it's Animal Crossing. And it's been amazing for me, particularly in this whole pandemic and being stuck inside and having limited interaction <laughs> with folks. But um, yeah, uh, Animal Crossing to me was both a fun game, a relaxing game, and at points gave me things to look forward to and reasons to do things because um, with my whole cancer journey, uh, it's been a little rough as far as like being able to to really do things. And I, I don't want to say accomplish things, but essentially knock things off a to-do list. And, and this game actually gave me the ability to do that, which I really appreciated and was an unexpected upside of the whole thing. And of course, connecting with my niece and playing with her. Mm -hmm. And really kind of gave you, gave you more throughout the year. I mean, you were just giving tips for snow boys last week. Yeah. And I've appreciated that what they've done and that they've, they've been able to give us some updates along the way. And I'm excited about toy day, which is only a couple of days on Christmas Eve. And uh, we'll have fun with that. Awesome. Awesome. I, I don't know. I mean, you know, Fortnite and everything is still going strong, but, um, you know, I, mm -hmm. I don't know if anything has been as fevered as this has. Or at least no, I, I don't think so. I, it doesn't seem, I mean, Fortnite, I don't know, this was this was more of a, a commitment almost than <laughs> Fortnite, but in, in a different way. Mm -hmm. And, like, I have friends who are just starting into it uh, recently and then friends who are getting it for Christmas. So I'll have new friends in New Islands to visit and having them get started and them asking me like, how do I get into this game? What do I need to do? And it's like, Oh geez, this is, this, there's a laundry list. Let me help you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 